Hello, happy Monday. I hope everybody had an awesome Monday. Today is New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year Eve. There's only one New Year that's coming. So is it, unless it's like a possession thing, should it still be like New Year's Eve, New Year? Anyways, happy end of the year. It's December 31st, 2018 is over. I hope everybody had an awesome year. I hope everybody's excited for the new year. So here's the video that I'm doing right now. I don't do these kind of videos often, but when I do them, you know, I like to have fun with it. So this is like a reaction video to my 2018 New Year resolutions. Up, I said New Year, singular, okay. So I recorded this on December 29th of 2017, so a year ago. And I was talking about my resolutions, you know, what I want to do for 2018. So I'm going to watch it, and we're going to see how I was a year ago, if I made all of my resolutions. I'm starting to get funny about New Year resolutions. It's kind of like, I don't know, I make them, but then I never do them. I don't know. Let's just see how this year went. All right. Let's react to it. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope everybody had an awesome Friday. Ooh, hair. Today is December 29th. Okay, December 29th. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is my New Year resolution video. Woo! Awesome. So, I'm doing it a few days earlier because I will post it. No, I will record it today, post it tomorrow, and that'll give y'all some time to, yeah, gotcha. Awesome. Okay, huh? 2017 what? New Year resolutions. I have a nice little list. It's not, um, it's not like two, three things like in 2016. This is a nice list. So, yeah, race is wrong. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I could have added one more, that would have been perfect. Ten. But nope, we're at nine. So, sit back, relax, get your popcorn, and let's talk about what Alexis is going to try to do for 2018. Yeah, I was talking weird. Don't y'all be knocking any of my resolutions, okay? Empower me and empower each other in the comments. Because the question of the day is... Oh, the question of the day! What is your resolution? What are you trying to get done for 2018? I will definitely pray over that. But you got to put it in the comments so I'll know. You know what I'm saying? You should start that up for 2018. So, let's get going. Number one, my first resolution that I put up at the top of the page is to trust God more. Because I tend to worry. Not a lot, but I do worry. Okay? And sometimes Still when do. things don't go my way or when they don't oh. seem like they're going to work out, oh. I just, I'm just like, okay, well oh well or like i just like start to freak out a little bit but what you have to understand alexis is you know even when things don't seem to work out you know the way like you wanted to it doesn't mean that god still doesn't have a plan and Amen. You know, because there's always like lights at the end of the tunnel or you know things you know sometimes good things do come out of like bad situations and it's just something i, I need to realize you know don't need to freak out don't need to worry just put all your trust in God because he already said, you know, he's got you. You know, it's a verse that says that. I'll put it right here. God's got you, okay? All right, I'm going to look that up. Now you got to worry about, right? <laughs> Number two, stay focused in school. I do it, stay focused it. in school. It's like I got all this power, like, towards the beginning of the semester. But then, like, that middle of the semester, after midterms, it's just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... Stay focused in school because next semester is my last semester and then I graduate with my associate degree. Aww. So I just, I need to stay focused and end up with a bang. Plus I did some like research on rate my professor and stuff and well, I was talking so weird. my professors for next semester only got to take two classes and supposed to, supposedly both those professors aren't great. So that's like something I'm worrying about. So just stay focused, get the degree get A's, and uh, move on to the next school. You know, just, just stay focused. Number three, be vegetarian for the entire year. Now so, for those of you who don't know, I just switched over to vegetarian a couple of months ago. I think it was in November. Whichever, the, whichever vlog it was where I said, going vegetarian, that's how long it's been. I think about two months. And I've been doing good. I, the only time I kind of reverted back was when I had gelatin i think i had gelatin in something gelatin oh is like yeah vegetarian because it comes from like a cow stomach or something and it's like oh and uh when taco bell messed up my order that bad they put meat on everything i think i accidentally had meat that day but i ate it anyway yep other than that i've been doing good wasn't about to waste taco bell 
vegetarian all year. Mm -mm. And when I say vegetarian, I mean vegetarian, like no pescatarian. Um, I don't want to be eating fish. Vegetarian. And I also want to work towards cutting back dairy because I don't drink Fail. cow's milk. And I don't eat a lot of yogurt. My problem is cheese. I love, love cheese. cheese. So right now I'm just saying I don't know if I could ever cut that back because I love it so much. But, you know, if I could cut back dairy, like cheeses and stuff, then that would be perfect. And even cut back eggs. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to like full vegan, but we could get there or at least close to there would be great. Be up the entire year. Just watch what I eat. More plant-based, not animal-based. Number four. And this one is the one that like, no, I don't think it's gonna offend anybody. Okay, number four. No more giving people the benefit of the doubt. Uh-oh, and here's what I mean by that. I'm just gonna make it short and sweet. I'm you a nice that. person. And sometimes nice people, especially nice introverted people, get taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. So, basically no more Miss Nice Alexis. I know <laughs> that's right. I'm still gonna be nice, but it's just, I have to realize when to sort of stop taking abuse. Not that oh, I'm being abused, abuse. and I don't mean to really use that word, but sometimes you gotta know when to like, when you're being mistreated or when you don't deserve something. Cause I know my worth, like, I know I'm a good person who made the, who does some things that maybe aren't good sometimes, but for the most part, I'm a good person. I'm a good friend. And I need to, you know, realize that if other people aren't realizing that, I can't force them. No yeah. more benefit of the doubt, okay? Sometimes people- Kind of failed at that don't need, You don't need to be friends. It's still too nice. So, yeah, for 2018, I need to realize when, and this is something I prayed to God for, you know, just help me, you know, just sort of, um, how do I word this? Help me just kind of like realize who my two friends are. Who shouldn't I be like surrounding myself with? That's a constant prayer. We were talking about that the other day in my uh, growth group from church. You know, some people are toxic. So it's just, you know, just help me with that. Um, number five, read my who Bible buys? every day. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, my yeah. Truth Bible. Hey, it's right here, and it's so beautiful. But I just need to read it every day. Right now, every day. I think yeah, I, I listen to the Bible I been a lot doing. using the Ver U version app, but I don't read it every day. Maybe like I'll skip. I didn't do that too. But you know, see, I don't want to do that. I want to be in this Bible every day. So 2018, every day read this Bible. And if I could find like a really good devotion, I think I'd want to read it every day. Cause they'd be like, oh yeah, let me get to my devotion. But um, I'm still trying to find the devotion that I like the most. Cause I've gone through a few of them and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling this devotion. I'm not feeling this devotion. Cause right now the devotion I'm reading is five minutes a day, every day, daily devotions for young adults. And <laughs> so funny story about that one. That's actually, my devotion that I've had since I was a teenager, it's not even for young adults, it's for teens. I kind of X'd out teens and put young adults so that I feel better about reading it. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't finish that. But all right, going on. I like it, but it's just, I can't, I don't know. It's just, I like how it gives me the Bible readings. It takes me through the Bible. I just, I like it, but it's just, I don't like know. it, but you don't like if it. If y'all got it. any good devotion rec recommendations, just give it to me. I'm not sure what it is, but this one, I just, I like it, but I don't like it. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> and right now, I'm in Numbers. Oh, oh my Numbers. Y'all want to know a hard book of the Bible to read? Numbers. <sighs> no, Exodus was cool. I think Leviticus was hard. Do wrong. Do the wrong. <laughs> but you know what? It's God's word. I'm going to read it. I'm going to study it and do it. Number one, two, three, four, five. Number six. Say ma'am and sir more often. So I was at dinner with Women of Bail. Wisdom and one of my friends, she was saying, yes ma'am, yes sir, yes ma'am, just to everybody. And she was so polite and respectful. And I was like, wow, I'm polite and respectful, but I need to get on your level. Yeah, I didn't so, say ma'am and sir that much. Yeah, I mean, yet. especially with like older adults, like I, you know, you really should be addressing them as ma'am and sir. And it's I know, like, but I don't do that that much. I mean, I'm respectful, but it's like, I don't say ma'am and sir. And especially, you know, Southern people, they say ma'am and sir. Yeah. I need to start doing that. So, yeah, that's something I'm working on. Just, you know, ma'am and sir to those older adults. Damn. And, you know, not all older adults, but some older adults are disrespectful. And I'm not going to respect you if you disrespect mm -hmm. me. So the respectful older adults, ma'am and sir. 
It's a disrespectful older adult. They used to get called Miss by their name. No ma'am or sir to them. <laughs> Number seven. This one is a big one. And this one is a new one. It's one that I'm working on thanks to my uh, cousin and my friend on Instagram. Just everybody just talking about self-care, self-care, oh. self-care. I think I told y'all this in another video. Basically, I want to get more into like self-care. I thought I did because I was like... Okay, yeah, I take bubble baths every now and then. I do self-care. But it's like, it's more than that. You know, it's just, just... It ties back into that, you know, reading my Bible every day and, you know, changing my diet and staying... No. Yeah, reading my Bible every day. Just being in this word. Like, my quiet time is a form of self-care for me. Uh, no more giving people the benefit of the doubt. Cutting out those toxic people. You know, that's part and of self-care. And make sure I don't act toxic. Uh, you know, vegetarian, think about that. cut my, you know, cutting inappropriate stuff out of my diet. That's a form of self-care. Just getting back, just getting into that more. And I was on Pinterest and I was just looking at self-care stuff and I was sharing it to my Pinterest board titled uh, Hell Hole. You can follow me on Pinterest if you want to. It's in Ooh. the description. But yeah, I was just looking at it and I was like, wow, like I should really get into that. Like, you know, I already kind of do it. You know, doing like my monthly dates where I take myself out to like DC. Too broke for that now. And I just spend time with, you know, by myself. But I want to kick it up a notch for 2018. Just really just get into it more. And I'm completely new to it. So any suggestions or ideas on that, you can just leave them in the comments too. But right now, Pinterest is my friend. I'm on there trying to figure out, you know, okay, how am I going to get the most out of the self-care? And I can even ask my cousin because she did some sort of like 60 day of self-care or something. And she said, oh my gosh, it wore me out. And I was like, oh, well. Sorry, my camera cut off. Let's see. Um, I was at number eight. I said eat out once a month. Oh, and when I skipped I said it a little once, bit. Once, underlined once. Oh, failed. That means failed. Taco Bell once a failed. month. Failed. And don't okay. even give yourself unrealistic right now, resolutions. I go more than once a month. I'm not going to give y'all a number. <laughs> but once a month. Now for January, that's my birthday month. I L E D. Uh, the 26th. I'm probably going to mess up a little bit because I'll be going out to eat three times that month because it will be my monthly Taco Bell and then I want to go to Olive Garden because I haven't been since my 15th birthday and then somewhere like that Sunday so yeah so then three times don't give month. yourself February, that resolution eat out once a month okay Taco Bell once a month and no more than once a month <laughs> oh man I said I was going to go to Taco Bell today but I forgot I'll have to go tomorrow it's still 2017 and last but not least once again, tying back into the diet is to cook more. Because you know what? If you yeah. cook more at home, you're not going to have any desire to eat out if you got good home-cooked meals at home. Not that I don't in there already, but it's just, I love Taco Bell. So I better. rather like cook more at home like I was cooking. Like I had like my day to cook dinner. Oh, yeah. But then like I stopped. Sure did stop. And then, you know, I'm going to get more into that, especially when that semester starts back up. You know, it's just I get busy. But no, I'm going to start that up. I'm going to start it up on a... Uh, January 2nd, my day to cook gonna be every Tuesday. And January 2nd, I'm making vegan chili gumbo. Ooh, I so think that I'll turned out good. That turns I remember that. Uh, I got the recipe right here on uh, geniuskitchen.com. And I'm just looking at it like, this is beautiful. No meat. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to have meat to be good and have protein. Right here. <laughs> but yes, those are my nine New Year resolutions. Um, I hope I make all of them happen. I hope they happen. I hope God gives me strength and they happen. So, yeah, don't forget to put in the comments what your resolutions are so I'll be able to look at them and pray on them and stuff like that. But now, I got one more thing to say. So, uh, something else I want to start doing for 2018. It's not really a resolution, but it's just what I want okay. to do. Is I want to start doing q and Oh, yeah, I didn't do that. I, I said I wanted to do that like four times a year, like quarterly Q&As, and I sure didn't do that. So, let me see if anybody made fun of my voice. And let's see, did anybody make fun of my voice? Uh, let's see. No one made fun of my voice in this video. Thank you. Y'all are so nice. But that was my 2018 New Year resolutions. Uh, I kind of didn't do all of them perfectly, but I guess you can say I made a little bit of progress toward them. So let's see. 2019 New Year resolutions. I didn't even make anything. Yep. So I can't come here at the end of 2019 and like look back on what I did because it's like I didn't make any resolutions. Let's see. Do I have any? Do I have any? I mean, those New Year resolutions from 2018 were actually pretty, 
pretty solid. I might as well roll those over. Maybe one resolution is to be a healthier vegetarian. Now, that resolution was to be vegetarian for the whole year. And I was, but I wasn't healthy about it. So, be a healthier vegetarian is a good one. Uh, eat out once a month. That's another good one. Let's see. Even though I'm probably going to fill it that again. See, yeah, New Year resolutions are kind of strange to me. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I make them and then they don't happen. <laughs> Let's see. Healthier vegetarian. Read that Bible more. That's like a resolution every single day. Like, come on. Like, come on. <sighs> uh, what else? Um, uh, I can't think of anything else except be a healthier vegetarian and read the Bible more. Jeez, I didn't even make a list out of resolutions. I didn't even think about it. But all right, that was my reaction video to my 2018 resolutions. I'm kind of a little bit depressed right now because it's like, ugh, they ain't happened as perfectly as I wanted them to. <laughs> but okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. I want to get a good internship. That's a resolution. Like apply for more internships, apply for a lot of scholarships, and get something. Mm-hmm. Get something. That's a resolution. Get something. Yeah, so I got three. Healthier vegetarian, read the Bible more, get something. Yep, I got three. So at the end of 2019, Alexis, how did I do? All right, please be good. But all right, y'all, thank you for watching this video. Uh, stay safe. It's, it's New Year's Eve. Like, no going out and getting your pistols and going pa pow pa pow up in the sky. Like, I don't want to hear that any of y'all were doing that. Don't do that. <sighs> but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Thumbs this video up. And I'll talk to y'all next year. <laughs> oh, why did I say that? Y'all not gonna see this until January 1st. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Bye-bye.